Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Long Time No Talk. I am so happy to be back here today, but I just wanted to come to y'all and show you guys what I have bought so far for the wedding. Now, I know that I haven't filmed one of these videos in a very long time, so I have a lot of things that I have purchased. So, I'm not gonna rumble, let's get right into this video. All right, so, yesterday i actually received the rest of my chair sashes now if you guys don't know chair sashes they can run you to about like one dollar if you know where to look or you catch them on sale or on clearance all the way up to freaking 20 plus depending on what you want me on the other hand i was like you know what mm -mm, no i'm not gonna spend that much because i'm only gonna use them once and then i'm probably gonna resell them again unless you know one of my friends decide oh they want to use them you know so I have one pack well not one pack I have two packs of chair sashes now I will say as you can see the writing on here I ordered these from Aliexpress so I ordered a total of how many I got 60 yesterday which is completing the uh, amount that I bought I have a total of what 100 chair sashes so far and I paid less than $40. No, to the bank. I paid less than $35. I paid like $33 and some change, so $34. So, with that being said, go to AliExpress, do some research, figure out what you want. And they always have sales. Like, a piece for those chair sashes, they would be like 50 to 40 cents. And um, I would buy them and they would be 40 cents a piece with free shipping. And I would just buy like 15 at a time like because once you get over a certain amount of 15 they start charging you for shipping like a dollar 26 so i would just buy 15 then go back um again after i done bought it and do the same thing all over to get that free shipping so i did that and i absolutely love them i'm not gonna take them out the packaging because i don't want them to get ruined for the wedding so let's go into the next thing that i done purchased. all right so the next thing that i purchased is not exactly for me it's for my nieces now their dresses are gray and i purchased this tool because i am making their overlay dresses i said overlay dresses their overlay skirts for their dresses and this tool is so so pretty and like you can go like that make it fluffy it's not finished by any means but um, they really wanted a long poofy skirt so I'm gonna be that one and get them this skirt and I paid like four dollars for this tool so to go around again I'm probably gonna need three extra things of tool and I got what four and a half inches so yeah this is just to completely cover it around for them and it's actually cheaper to make your own sorry if you guys see me move I'm having to go grab stuff all right so the next thing that we bought was these wedding flutes from Hobby Lobby now these were $12.99 and um, these were the last two boxes that were $12.99 before they was like $10.99 now they're $14.99 not sure if I showed these in a the video but this is what they look like they're open because I opened them to see what they look like and a few like two were cracked but that's because I dropped it because I was trying to carry a whole bunch of stuff up the steps and Greg was already carrying up the heavy stuff that we bought from Hobby Lobby um, that we already shipped home. So I don't have that to show you guys, unfortunately, and it was on clearance. So I can't really go on the website to show you. But this is what I bought, which is the way you should get a pack of 50 for $12.99. Now it's $14.99. So I'm super, super happy about this. You guys don't know what our colors are for our wedding. It's blush pink burgundy gray black and cream so which is a lot of colors but great pick those colors out and i really wanted like a metallic element in our wedding to like offset it because everybody know that reds like super dark reds and golds just makes it pop black and gold makes it pop cream and gold makes it pink like anything that has gold in it is beautiful so i bought see if you guys can see i bought these plates now with this being said these plates are actually clear but they have like so you guys can see you can see the little gold sparkle in them and you know they're just perfect and I love them and I bought a total of two so far I need to buy at least a hundred and something so I'm late on that game but I'm gonna order them soon which is fine but that is what I'm using for our plates my mom is ordering the cutlery so that is what we agreed on I buy the plates she buys the cutlery and his parents are paying for the linen. So I don't have to worry about the linen, which is super, super helpful for us. And the next thing I bought is our flowers. Now, 
fun fact, when I was making our bouquets, you guys saw that video previously of me making the bouquets for the bridesmaids, and I ended up making my bouquet, I actually ran out of flowers because those flowers were actually discontinued because I bought them from Old Time Pottery in Kennesaw, Georgia. If you guys are from Georgia and you live in the Cobb County area like I did, I went to Old Time Pottery. It's like a little discount store. Whatever the store, the big store doesn't sell, doesn't want anymore, is not doing good, they send it there. And I bought as much as I could. I bought like, what, $40 worth, which you also got to think $40 worth for discounted flowers. That's more than half off. It's a lot. And I used up every single last one. So, unfortunately, I ran out of flowers, so I needed to run to Hobby Lobby and get the most... <laughs> Sorry, Kobe. And I needed to run to Hobby Lobby and get the ones that were similar. So, I'm going to show you guys my centerpieces right quick. And I hope you guys like them because this is my first time showing them. They're not done by any means. I mean, a lot of... They're going to be different by the time the wedding comes, but I'm just going to give you the overall gist. And I got the stuff from Dollar Tree, the phone from Dollar Tree, but the flowers came from Hobby Lobby. So if you guys have a lot of colors like I am, you can't incorporate all those colors or just look crazy. You can just do it with your flowers and everything will just come together and it'll be beautiful. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. You guys, and you can... That's Kobe. He's sniffing. Hey, baby. Hi. Hiya. Go back, go back to play. Go play, okay? Sorry, this is Kobe. If you guys don't know, I do have a puppy. Come on. There you go. You guys can see him. But um, he's getting bigger by the day. But not to, you know, get off topic. This is my wedding centerpiece. Okay, you guys cannot see this. Hold up just a second. I'm gonna see if you guys, like you can see that now. Like this is my wedding centerpiece like hold on just a second I'm gonna see if I can actually get this in the frame you can see the blush pink at the top you can see the different champagne colors the the cream colors um, I didn't want just one variety of cream I wanted multiples to add more dimension to it so that's exactly what I did and I love the little look of you know an item where I can just you know it, it's just gorgeous so this, this right here, so some crystals is going to be in here and I'm going to have some crystals hanging. It's super, super easy and cheap. Total with, with one bouquet of flowers from Hobby Lobby, I was able to make one, two, three, <laughs> three centerpieces. So I'm getting a lot of bang for my buck. This right here was $3.00 from Dollar Tree. So the base, all of this came separate. I just e 6 styled it together. I ordered some little string or crystal garland for, you know, attaching it. I ordered it off eBay for like a dollar and I got like 50. So this is what my centerpieces look like. Absolutely love them. They're perfect and I can't wait. Um, after the wedding's over, I don't know what exactly what I'm going to do with these. I guess I may keep some for myself or keep all of it because I don't like throwing nothing away. Um, just in case our daughter wants to use it if we ever have a daughter um, but yeah I go home this um, this coming May um, and I have my first dress fitting I'm super super excited because I know I have two dresses I'm super super excited about that so let me grab my bouquet because it looks darn near similar and Kobe looks like he about to do something bad so let me try to put him away or calm him down or get him his attention somewhere else but I'm gonna show you guys all right, you guys, so I am back, and I have my bouquet right here in my hand, and I'm so excited. So this is the centerpiece. There you go. There you go. You guys can see all of the pretty colors, and here is the bouquet. Nice. Like, the only thing that's really different is the berries. Um, I specifically wanted berries in our bouquets. And right here, I just wanted like some type of filler um, because they didn't have these berries because I bought the last of them. So I couldn't use the berries, but you know, it's similar except for the berries. And let me see if I can, you know, like there you go. As you can see, it's slight, it's a slight different color, but overall it's pretty much similar. And I did add a little succulent in my bouquet because I really wanted to use it. I try to use everything up and utilize it as best as I can. So some of the girls have these cute little dainty roses right 
like cute little dainty roses right here they're dark I have they're bridesmaids that do watch my channel so if you're a bridesmaid please do not watch this part because this is part of your gift for the wedding and I don't want it to be ruined um, also the one of the things that would I also bought for my bridesmaids because I am NOT doing robes because I couldn't really justify the price I understand everybody does robes nowadays but you know some ladies that don't want to walk around in a robe like it's pretty for pictures but I feel like we can just you know keep it nice and keep it casual and have like pictures of us getting ready everything doesn't have to be matchy matchy you know looking back on it like in the money that we're saving not buying robes no matter how much I want them I have a little puppy down here and no matter how much I want them I'm not gonna purchase them unless I can get them for a really really low price all right so I'm gonna show you guys what they look like so I'm getting people I'm getting my bridesmaids we're getting married in the fall so this is a cream colored shawl um, I bought this I'm just, it's going to get it's going to get steamed so don't worry about that um, I am actually going to wrap it up like this um, it's going to get wrapped up like this I ordered these right here from wish first round and then I ordered these from a different seller from wish and the reason why it's so wrinkly because it came like this this is the pink this is the blush pink I have a gray have a um, burgundy I have a cream and then I also have a black for each of my bridesmaids. A, um, put this over here. I did purchase a groomsman bow tie. Got it from Wish. So this is what it looks like. It's very, very pretty. So yeah. All right, so one of the things that I picked up for the wedding um, is actually a makeup palette. Now, I know you're crazy, I picked up I've been picking up makeup for the wedding um, last year for Christmas I really wanted the Smashbox holidays contour and spotlight palette which is this as you can see look at those beautiful colors um, I'm gonna try to open it because it's um this oh look at that big mirror hanging this is what it looks like um, it has a really large mirror um, it has contour shades highlighters everything in here um, for everybody so if people don't like hey I don't like that goal I feel like it's a little harsh it's a little much there is something in here for everybody so I will be using this for the big day another thing that I will be using for the big day that I picked up for the wedding is the BH Cosmetic Live in London 16 color shadow palette this is the little cover um, it has the shades um, the little film and this is what it looks like as you can see it has colors in here for everybody because I am getting their makeup done um I'm not doing their makeup I ain't got time for that so I have you know colors in here that will suit everybody um because my family comes in all shades all sh all sizes and yeah so I will be using this on the wedding day um, I would not be doing a first impressions with this um, anytime soon because I want to keep it nice and pristine for the wedding even though I already used this because I wanted to test it out um, so yeah I will be having my makeup trial done and whatnot so I will be using this palette for my makeup trial because these I want like a neutral makeup look I did want to go like burgundy but that's a little crazy and I want something timeless and classic for my bridal makeup so yeah I will be using this and this for the big day so that is all that I have for the haul today I hope you guys enjoyed I am going home for my dress fitting I know I've been saying that a lot but um, things have been happening to where I couldn't go home but this coming May I am going home and I'm super super excited about it I have my first dress fitting in May I'm not sure if I told you guys that I have my first dress fitting in May so with that being said I'm gonna get it snatched I'm gonna be looking right and um, yeah and I'm super super excited about it so I'm gonna sign off now so I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit that red subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload and don't forget to follow me on all forms of social media yeah don't forget to join my little family if you like what you have seen bye guys have a great weekend and be blessed